Hello everyone. This is day 5. We have a long way to go. But today we are going to discuss about a very important topic that is the difference between fatty acid synthesis and fatty acid beta oxidation. Very very important because they ask a lot of question from this topic. So I write it as very VVI very very important because there's a lot lot of this question from uh, the biochemistry topic here. And they ask question of from this topic in CSI net ICMR. get life sciences so you need to prepare this now we compare fatty acid beta oxidation with fatty acid synthesis the beta oxidation is utilization of fatty acid to produce energy that is a catabolic pathway while fatty acid biosynthesis is anabolic pathway so a catabolic pathway like fat, fatty acid beta oxidation produces energy while well, uh, fatty acid biosynthesis requires energy so they have a similar pathway similar enzymes in all but the pathways are opposite to each other so start with this fatty acid biosynthesis the substrate act as for the substrate uh, for the process of fatty acid biosynthesis acetyl coa and malonyl coa while well, the substrate used in fatty acid beta oxidation is fatty acyl coa because we start with fatty acid and convert it to fatty acyl coa in case of oxidation but in case of biosynthesis start with substrate acetyl coa and malonyl coa next is the location fatty acid biosynthesis occurs in the cytosol while the fatty acid beta oxidation occurs in mitochondrial matrix then comes the third important point enzymes involved in fatty acid synthesis acetyl coa carboxylase fatty acid synthase are the enzymes that are involved two important enzymes one is the acetyl coa carboxylase and the second one is fatty acid synthase while in beta oxidation it is the enzyme acyl coa dehydrogenase enoyl coa hydratase and 3 hydroxy acyl coa dehydrogenase and beta keto thiolase are the four important enzymes involved in fatty acid beta oxidation let's move to another point energy calculation fatty acid synthesis consumes atp while fatty acid beta oxidation generates atp because it's a catabolic pathway fatty acid synthesis is remember anabolic pathway and this is catabolic pathway okay next energy production net consumption of atp is done during the synthesis process while in case of beta oxidation net production of atp is seen reducing equivalents that are produced in fatty acid synthesis is nadph while in case of fatty acid beta oxidation nadh and fadh2 are produced the end product of fatty acid synthesis is of course fatty acid long chain fatty acids while the beta oxidation end product is acetyl coa it ends in acetyl coa starts with fatty acid ends in acetyl coa while in fatty acid synthesis start from acetyl coa ends in long chain fatty acids totally reverse of it okay so that concludes our understanding of the difference between fatty acid biosynthesis and fatty acid beta oxidation i believe you have a clear idea about it even if you don't know all the steps and every single details if you know this part from this particular mind map you will be able to answer most of the question from fatty acid biosynthesis and fatty acid beta oxidation all the very best happy study so watch this whole series of mind map and it's our journey of 365 days one mind map every single day for a year and i bet you that you're going to come up as a better source of knowledge for the field of biological sciences after this one year of study so continue with this series because it's going to provide you benefit for csi net get ls get biotechnology icmr jrf uh, the q8 pg a bhu genu examination and all the other institutional phd entrance examination as well so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video to your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future all the very best for future career